So today's topic will be culture media and sterilization. Both are important topic because in culture media, we have different types of medias, enrich, enrichment, transport, special media. Definitely you can have question on that. Another one is your sterilization. Sterilization, you know, a lot of questions have been asked. It's like hot, hot topic, right? Sterilization is a really hot topic. In culture media, again, you know, always in this culture media, one thing they always do pseudomonas specific media set remind. By that is that is always one example, you know, why the media is so important. Okay, now let's start. So culture media basically media for growing the bacteria, right? Bacteria and of course some of the parasites and some of the fungi also grows. Okay. That's what we need culture media, not the viruses. Viruses never grow in an artificial culture media. Viruses need a tissue culture or egg inoculation, a cell cultures. Okay, now let's talk about culture media here. So what are important culture media? The culture media, the first thing you should know, any culture media, the basic ingredients are two things. One is the peptone and the other one is your agar. When you talk about the agar, you know there are agar has different type of compositions. It can be 2% or 0.5%. When you talk about a 2% agar, it is your common one. All the common medias, all the common uh the the common percentage of agar used in any media is two percent it is a common okay two percent zero point five percent is it's to make a semi-solid media that means your agar considered less meat it makes a semi-solid uh you know media that semi-solid media is for motility so this is a question for motility what is the percentage of agar you see because it's 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 semi it's a very loose semi motor so what happens when you put the organism inside you can see it is just you know the grow it's, it's spreading everywhere that means it can freely move the bacteria can freely move so you can check the motility. So for motility, 0.5 percentage. Okay. Now what about this one? What about this? This one you know by seeing the picture. You know, see what is this? What is this movement? See the um, it's just spreading around the plate like this, this, this. So what it is? It is your who is this? Who swarms? Who swarms? Who is that girl who loves to swarm and has seminal smell? It is your proteus. Exactly. It's your proteus. So what happened in order, in some cases, what happened when the proteus grows in the plate, it's very difficult to, for us uh, microbiologists to identify, you know, you know from the, uh, to isolate the colonies from other bacteria, some two organisms, it's difficult to, you know, isolate. So for that, to prevent that, what we are going to do is that to inhibit the swarming, how many percentage other we are going to use? Six percentage. You understand? Six percent, you increase in the concentration. So that will inhibit the swarming, that inhibits the swarming growth, that inhibits the swarming. That's it. Okay. This is the agarka basic composition needed. So, application of culture media, when you go, you have simple media, you have enriched, enrichment, everything. We're going to talk about it. Simple media. When you talk about simple media, what is the uh, thing you can say about simple media? They just simply grow. Simple media is just a basic media, just one component. It is a peptone or a nutrient like that. So, they just simply help to grow up the non fastidious non fastidious fastidious will not grow non fastidious a simple or non fastidious organism which are simple. They grow in the simple medias. Okay. Example is your. Peptone water, peptone water or broth. Broth means it's liquid, so it's water, all the same. Broth or water, they are same. Other one is your nutrient, water or broth. Okay, same. Nutrient, uh, nutrient, broth or water, whatever. And the other one is your nutrient, other, nutrient, other. Nutrient, other. So anything simple, simple, they come into simple media, basal media. Okay. Now, what about the enrichment media? Enrichment media, enriched media, and enrichment media. Enriched media is solid, enrichment media is liquid. When you talk about enriched media, how to make enriched media with the basal media? You add something, some special nutrients. A nutrient can be blood, or it can be egg, or it can be serum. Okay. So when it is uh, done, what is the use of this? Enriched media, what it grows here? Fastidious. The fastidious special organism, the celebrity organisms, okay, they grow her. Who are the celebrity organisms? You know, like a GB, your Conevitum diphtheriae, your strep pneumonia, H influenza. These are celebrities. They need special media to grow, okay? That's what. So now let's talk about the blood. When the blood is a special nutrient, it is called simply blood agar. That's the blood agar. So the picture down, which one is blood agar? This is a blood agar, right? In blood agar. Blood agar, you hear, uh, you, in this picture, you can see whatever hemolysis. It's a beta hemolysis. When you talk about beta hemolysis, what is the example, classic example? Staphylococcus, all the staphylococcus. And which one? Streptococcus pyogens. Okay, streptococcus pyogens. That is group, uh, streptococcus pyogens. That is both group uh, A, uh, streptococcus pyogens, and also agalatia. Agalactic, that means group A and group B. Group A and group B. Streptococcus, group A and group B grow. They give beta hemolysis. Okay, that's for later topic. I'm just saying it so you need to remember. That's a beta hemolysis. Okay, and alpha and gamma, I'm not going to talk now. We'll talk about streptococcus. Now, what is this agar? This beautiful agar, it looks delicious. So it is chocolate agar. Okay, this brown agar, is, this is a chocolate agar. Chocolate agar. CA, chocolate agar. So the lysed blood is used, the, the lysed blood, the, uh, when, in the media, when there's a lysed blood, that is already chocolate agar. Chocolate agar. In chocolate agar, a lot of important bacteria grows, fastidious growth, which is one is your streptococcus pneumoniae. Streptococcus 
pneumonia streptococcus pneumonia streptococcus pneumonia and other one is your h influenza h influenza and your nasalia see all the special special bacteria they grow in the chocolate and that. that's what it's enriched serum when you talk about a serum what is this picture comes in your mind the name itself has a clue that is low flush serum slope lss low flush l o f p low flush serum slope low flush serum slope okay please remember this is the enriched media but also we have a special media for okay but by the way where it is used tell the interns not to loaf not to loaf loaf where which is low flush bacilli in which what diphtheria corona bacterium diphtheria corona bacterium tell the interns not to loaf around the diphtheria what so that's what okay so this is the corona bacterium diphtheria Loveless serum slope. Now, next one. Next one, see this egg. When the media, so this is the picture. This picture, this is the LSS media. Okay, this is LSS media. Don't forget. In the picture, if you get like this, this white, just sort of creamy, uh, this media, that is serum media. Egg. Egg is important for which media? If you remember, which is for TB, which is the media we're using, enriched media. Can you remember? That is your, that is your, which one? Your LJ. Yes, LJ. Lowenstein Jensen. Okay, Lowen, uh, Lowenstein Jensen's media. Lowenstein Jensen, number one. And also, other one is your, which one? Which one? Which one? Dorset eggs, Dorset's egg media, Dorset's egg media, okay, egg media. So both, both the medias are for which organism grows, which is that organism? Can you tell me? Mycobacterium tuberculosis, Mycobacterium TB, Mycobacterium, your Mycobacterium tuberculosis, good reverse intensive media, Dorset egg media. Definitely it's important question. So whatever we talk now, all are important now. Okay, echo, you can expect question. Enrichment uh, media, enrichment media, what is the enrichment media here? So we talk about enriched media, uh, it supports the growth of the which one? Growth of the pathogens, the organism which causing the infection. And I told you already, enrichment media is a liquid media. Usually it's a liquid media. It usually supposed to the pathogen inhibits the commences, unwanted bacteria. It just inhibits the commences and uh, allows the growth of pathogens. So we talk about Vibrio cholerae, which is the enrichment media. So Vibrio cholerae, you know, what type of stool they have? What is, that's the question. Rice water stool. When in a pediatric world, there is an outbreak of rice water stool or whatever, then what happened? We have to identify. So what to do if you want to culture and check it out, what do you do? You have to, uh, to get a, uh, you know, the proper growth, we have to enrichment it. But even if less bacteria, when you put the enrichment, it grows and becomes small. So it's easy for us to identify. So what is the enrichment media for Vibrio cholera? Frequently asked question. Definitely you must be knowing by this time, that is your alkaline peptone water alkaline peptone water even if you forgot even if you forgot alkaline peptone water in options please remember you know one of the main predisposing uh, factor for cholera is your which one when the patient who the patients who are taking what antacids that means when you take the antacid, your acidity of the stomach goes down. That means there's more alkaline environment. When there's more alkaline environment, you're going to get a vibrio cholera. Okay, you got it right. There is 100 bacteria enough, 10 to 100 bacteria enough to cause what? A severe, uh, I mean, uh, uh, I mean to say that the, the, in the vibrio cholera, the alkaline environment is an important factor for causing this. Okay, that's what I want to stress here. Okay, that's it. Now, let's go about the, uh, so that's for some, uh, that is for the vibrio cholera, alkaline peptone water. Please remember alkaline peptone. No, don't confuse with the transport media. For transport media, for Vibrio we have different media. What are they? The carry player medium and also your Venkatraman and Ramakrishna medium, and also autoclave sulfate. That's different. We're going to talk soon. Now, Salmonella Shigala. In Salmonella Shigala, you know Salman Uncle and Sheila Auntie, both of them, they need Selena to enrichment. Okay. Selenite have broth. Selenite have, have, have broth. So both are in stool. That's so have means speaker. Speakers means stool. Of course. Sorry. Uh, usually these these organs for diarrhea that's what okay stool so speakers is stool okay speakers speakers okay so cell net have brought this also question question frequently asked question these all are frequent asked questions okay now the selective media selective media is very important my favorite too what is the selective media for microbiome tuberculosis can you see this picture and identify what is this blue color this one one media which has this blue color and you see rough tough and buff to call this rough tough buff we're going to talk more in later can i can i get an answer this is your LJ media, Lowenstein Jensen's media, LJ media. Okay, so LJ media is also enriched media and also it is a special media for microbiome tuberculosis. Okay, and it takes months, it takes two to three months, longer period to grow. That's what in TB, what is the best one? We use midget for fast, uh, fast culture. Okay, we'll talk it in the TB. Now, coronavirus diphtheria, what is a special media? You already spoke, you already told one media, you already spoke about one media. That is your which media? The enriched. Am I getting some answer? The media for coronavirus enriched is LSS. 
for the special medias KTBA. KTB is potassium telluride agar. Potassium telluride blood agar. Potassium telluride blood agar. Telluride blood agar. So, sir, how to remember this? It's too difficult. Yes, that's what I'm here to make it easy. So, when you say tell, tell your interns not to low, low around. That's what I, the tell comes because of that only. It's telluride agar. Potassium telluride agar is a special media for coronary bacterium diphtheria. This Tinsdale media also, but frequently asked is potassium telluride. That's also T for T. Tinsdale telluride, Tinsdale telluride, TT. So, but it's potassium telluride agar is a coronary bacterium diphtheria spin media. Nizeria, Niza, it's very easy. You know who is Niza's boyfriend, the special boy, the Nisha's special boy. The special boy is who? Tyre Martin. Martin. It's just Martin, you remember. That's Tyre Martin. It will become a Tyre Martin. Tyre Martin for Niziria. Tyre Martin is for Niziria. Special media. Question, question. Everything is question. There is no way you're going to omit this. And another favorite question is, uh, at least my favorite bacteria, Pseudomonas aeruginosa. And you know, when you talk about Pseudomonas aeruginosa, who comes in your mind? Of course, a beautiful ecta couple, right? Ecta couple. So I'll tell you why. So ecta, uh, so ecta is always where? Ecta is always in the cinema set. She's always in the movie set or cinema set. Set, set, set. What is that set? Why about the set here? Set remind, set remind, set remind media, set remind other, set remind other. See, pseudomonas are just one of the dangerous media. This is the only bacteria that can uh, grow in the uh, disinfectant itself. Already antibiotic disinfectant to kill the bacteria, but the pseudomonas are so smart, it can grow on the set remind itself. You understand? That's the reason. That's what it forms. Biofilm, it has that uh, uh, the, uh, the capsule alginate coat, alginate coat, everything for you know to survive in this type of environment only cetrimide agar okay so cinema said and ecta why again and again ecta again question ectima gangrenosum ectima gangrenosum is caused by pseudomonas aeruginosa ectima gangrenosum gangrenosum okay got it got it got it again i'm repeating again and again okay now salmonella salmonella you know the bodyguard of salmonella who is the bodyguard of salmonella you know i don't know but what i i what i made my own uh, uh, name is Wilson. Wilson Blair. Wilson Blair is Salman Khan's. Salman Khan needs, Salman Sheila needs Selenet F for enrichment. But for uh, special, he they have, uh, Salmonella has Wilson Blair. Media. Wilson Blair. Question. Salman's bodyguard, Wilson. Wilson. Mr. Wilson. Okay, don't put Wilson is bodyguard. Okay, that means it is the special media. So, Mycoplasma. Mycoplasma, you know, it's very easy. What's the other name for Mycoplasma? It is the PPLO. PPLO. PPLO is other name. The name agar is PPLO agar. That's it. PPLO is, you know, that's the pleuro pneumonia like organism. Pleuro pneumonia like organism. Pleuro pneumonia like organism. This is a question or the agar is a question. Okay. So remember, PPLO like organism. And then you know, mycoplasma has got a cholesterol, gliding motility, and uh, who is micro, who's in mycoplasma? Diana. But it's Diane method. Diane's method. Okay, these are a few things. And her favorite, Diana's favorite food is fried egg appearance. That's it. This is the mycoplasma. Why you have to struggle? Very simple. See, you already good me. And of course, mycoplasma, what? What agglutination? You have uh, mat, cat, sat, cat. Cold agglutination. Bas, hogya. So Diana is like, since Diana is in London, London is cold, so cold, cat. Hogya. Or she likes the cat. Finished. Okay. And sat for brusella and mat for your leptospira. Itna hai. What is there in micro? It's very simple. Believe me, it's easy. Don't make mistakes in micro. Okay, I'll help you more. Okay, now, uh, deoxycholate and uh, XLD. Frequently asked question, you know, deoxycholate citrate, xylo XLD. Uh, DCS XLD is for your salmonella and shigula both. Salmonella, shigula, you know, salmon and salmon, uncle and Sheila, auntie, they are almost together. Okay, Sheila and D. Okay, deoxycholate citrate and xylosylacin uh, XLD, right? It that's it. Now thiosulfate citrate, uh, bile sucrose TCBS, TCBS media. What's the TCBS media is for? TCBS media is for thiosulfate means it's a vibrio cholera, vibrio cholera, vibrio cholera. Okay, that's it. Vibrio cholera. Viba uh, likes theobroma, theobroma chocolate, theobroma cakes. That's what. Okay, theo, theo, theobroma. Viba's favorite is theo. Broma cakes. She likes your broma cakes. Viba. Plus, darling Viba likes so many things. Darling, darting motility ho gaya. Viba, she likes your broma. And I told you, alkaline, she survives in alkaline media. So, alkaline trapped on water and other things will come now. Okay. Few more things are there. The Vibrio is also interesting. Vibria and Ekta couple pseudomonas aeruginosus. Fantastic. You'll never ever make mistake in that two topics because questions are always asked in that topic. 
anaerobic culture media so what is this anaerobic culture media oh this is an expected question definitely you should expect this question so what is this anaerobic culture media what is this one you already see the meat particles so that is the robertson cook meat media robertson cooked meat media robertson cooked meat media robertson cooked meat media right robertson cooked meat media and other one is the thioglycolate broth theo gly Late broth, thioglycolate broth. Okay, this is for the anaerobic. The more detail we study in anaerobic culture media, but third to number, rabbits and picnic media, is anaerobic culture media, thioglycolate broth is also an uh, anaerobic culture media. Transport media. Transport media basically, when there's a delay in, uh, uh, you know, sending your sample, processing the sample, um, uh, then you have to send to the lab through this transport media only. Main main thing is what to, ma to maintain the viability. Viability, not multiplication of growth the bacteria will not grow in that it will just only no growth there's only viability just remains alive so that you can test in the lab i love this i love this topic and questions can be asked so many questions can be asked here streptococcus which is transport media pikes media pikes media pikes media very simple kya hota hai striptease in a strippers strippers kahan par dance karta hai koi mountain ka top upar here they dance. Okay. Understand? So, ye to apko peak ho gaya, pike ho gaya. Upar kone strippers. Strippers, they dance on the peak. Okay. Strippers, they dance on the peak. Pike media. Okay. Don't forget. Pike, pike, pike. Streptococcus is pike. Okay. Vibrio cholera. Vibrio cholera, you know, who transport Vibrio cholera, who uh, Vibrio also has a boyfriend. You know, everyone has a boyfriend. So, darling Vibrio, darling Vibrio, Vibrio's boyfriend is Venkat Raman and Ramakrishnan. Venkat Raman, we are Mr. Venkat Raman and Ramakrishnan. Ah, our South ka hai. Venkat Raman and Ramakrishnan media. So he carries Viva, VR media. And other one is the, you know, Viva is a darling girl. She, she always carries a carry bag. She has a carry bag, beautiful carry bag. Oh, what's that carry bag now? That is the carry players media. Okay. Carry players media. Carry players media. Okay. Carry players media. And other one. Other one is your autoclave seawater. Autoclave. Sea water. Uska pasand vibrio ko vibrio loves water. Alkaline water or sea water. These are so autoclave sea water. These are the transport. We want to transport transport in these things. Okay, so Viba's boyfriend is we are carries Viba and Viba carries transports in the carry bag and she gets she gets transported in autoclave sea water. She gets she transports in the sea water. Okay. And what she gala salmonella? What is the uh, uh what is the transport beauty for Shigala and Salmonella? It is your which one? It's important. Frequently asked. Yes, yes. Yes and yes. So it is sacs. Sacs. Buffered. Buffered. Glycer, glycerol. Saline. Important question. Yes for yes. Sal, sal, sal. Salmon, sal. Shigala, sal. Okay, sacs. That's important question. Okay. Right. Now next one. Nizeria. Nizeria. Nizeria's boyfriend special is Tyre Martin. Oh, to gaya. But uske transport ke liye kya chahiye? To transport ke liye he has what? Emis. Emis is a complex question, but Strout also. S T A U R T. Boyfriend to alag hai, but usko carry karne ke liye Emi or Strout chahiye. Theek hai? Emis media or Strout media for Nizeria. Transport media. Okay. And anaerobes are already used. It's the same. P O Glycolate, dio glycolate, dio glycolate broth. Okay, that's it. Now the differential medias. When you talk about the differential medias, okay, uh, differential medias basically what is just differentiate two bacteria using an indicator. That's it. Okay, so now look at this picture. What is this? First one is a this is a McConkey agar. Excuse me. This is a McConkey agar. You're right. This is a McConkey agar. So in McConkey agar, what are the two things you differentiate? What is this pink color? The pink color one is the lactose fermenting LF. LF colonies and NLF. NLF is non-lactose fermenting. Non-lactose fermenting colonies. Okay. Lactose fermenting is pink color where your NLF is pale color. No, no color. Pale color. Okay. That's it. So that is the uh, McConkey saga. So McConkey important is the constituents. What is the shortcut for constituent? It's called simply plant, plant, plant. So what does the P stands for? They can ask. It's usually in UG. They have asked this question many times, UG level. But now you should know for the PG level also. P for the peptone, L for the lactose. Lactose is the reason it gives the, uh, the lactose fermenting. You know, that's based on this uh, sugar only. And A for agar. N for, that's the important question. What is the indicator used in McConkey? N for neutral red. 
neutral right okay plant 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 and t for tauro college tauro college okay tauro college means bile salts basically what happens is bile salts we're adding mechonkey to inhibit to inhibit the gram positive organisms gram positive organisms because mechonkey in mechonkey you know all the most of the gram natives will grow equal like lachial sugar many many things but we don't know the gram positive like strepto and staphylo growing as common cells so to inhibit that we have tauro college bile salts are tauro college is added in the mechonkey alert so that's important okay so the differential lactose and lactose and what is the clad media in clad media the most important thing is that please remember in clad media the lactose fermenting colony is yellow in color Okay, this is the one that you're seeing. Yellow in color, other one is NLF. This, this McConkey and Clad has a competition. The main reason is that in Clad media, swarming doesn't occur. Swarming is inhibited. Okay, you add already to 6% agar to inhibit the swarming motility of Proteus or you use Clad media so that swarming is already inhibited. How? So used for which type of pathogens? It's usually used for urinary. For urine samples, urinary, urine samples may, if you suspect urinary infection, you grow it in the clad, it's better because it inhibits the swarming. So you don't have headache. If suppose two bacteria grows, example, if there's a proteus and let's say urine staphylococcus grows, so then, uh, or E. coli grows. So I don't mix together, you know, I can isolate uh, proteus separately without swarming and then the yeah, other one, you know, the E. coli, it will be not mixed. So it's easy for me to isolate and give the diagnosis. So that's what inhibits the swarming of proteus. This is used. So, what is a CLED means? CLED is cysteine lysine electrolyte deficient. Cysteine lysine electrolyte deficient. That's the full meaning of this. Okay, CLED. C L E D. CLED means cysteine lactose electrolyte deficient. And the indicator is simply bromothermal blue. Bromothermal blue. Neutral red for uh, McConkey agar and bromothermal blue for your CLED media. Yeah, CLED bromothermal blue. Okay. Now, next. Sterilization. And disinfection. Next topic, sterilization disinfection. One of my favorite topic. And of course, you must know there is no other way you're going to skip this topic. So let's make it more easy and fun. You know, sterilization means, you know, it kills all the organisms, all the microorganisms, bacteria, virus, fungi, TB, everything, plus spores. The most important thing is spores. It kills the spores too. But we talk about disinfection, it destroys most microbes, but not the spores. That's just a question. Not the spores. Spores are not killed in the disinfection. Sterilization means S for S. It is killed, spores are killed. Okay, with the all other microorganisms. Fine. So, methods of sterilization you have physical method and chemical method common. Okay, so physical method we have again. Do you know what the sterilization means? If you're sterilizing, sterilization is a process used in every surgical ward, in clinical ward, in the lab, not, I mean, microbiology, uh, biochemistry, pathology, everywhere. So, sterilization is basically we're destroying the bacteria, the organism, the pathogens. Okay. So that's the idea. So how to sterilize? We have physical method, chemical method. Physical method, we can use the heat. A heat can be dry heat or moist. When you talk about dry heat, you already know. Can you give an example? Hot air oven, exactly. The most commonly used one is hot air oven. We'll talk in detail later. Moist heat. What is a moist heat? Moist heat means, example, is your autoclave. Autoclave. Autoclave is for moist heat. Okay, yes. Now the radiation. When we talk about the radiation, again, we have ionizing and the non-ionizing. In ionizing, which is ionizing radiation? common x-ray and your gamma rays x-ray and gamma rays gamma rays. it's also called cold sterilization we're going to talk about it cold sterilization okay and then uh, non anything it is your infrared rays and the uv rays okay uv rays you know uh, usually in cabinet biosafety cabinet we use to sterilize it now filtration we have the old filtration that is usually uh, it's uh, it is uh, it's normally we use the uh, it's called depth filters we use porcelain gristin substances to filter or not that's not very efficient the best one we're having is membrane filters the recent one is the membrane filters which is commonly used okay now let's go to chemical method. chemical methods uh, individually we're going to talk but just a brief alcohol alcohol i'm not going to say anything alcohol you know it is usually the ethyl alcohol or your isopropyl alcohol isopropyl alcohol okay We'll talk detail. Aldehyde importers, formaldehyde and glutaraldehyde. Dice, you have aniline, acridine dyes. Aniline, acridine dyes. In gas sterilization, we're going to talk about gas sterilization also. That is very important detail. And then halogen. Halogen is your, which is your halogen? It is your iodine and chlorine. Okay. And then oxidizing agents. We have many oxidizing agents we're going to talk now. Phenolic compounds like lysol, chrysol, or there. And then uh, oxidizing agent makes a hydrogen peroxide. When you talk about salts, we have copper salts and surface active agents, but it's usually the soap or potassium component. Now, brief. 
heat. How does the heat destroy the bacteria? Three methods. That's a question. Do when it's hot, when your temperature is hot, what you're using? You're using a spray, do spray. Remember like that. So D stands for denaturation, denaturation of the protein, bacteria protein, denaturation of the bacterial proteins, the bacterial protein. That's the way you kill it. Okay. Heat. E, E for electrolyte imbalance, electrolyte imbalance. Or it increases the electrolyte so that the, it gets killed, the bacteria gets killed. Electrolyte yeah, imbalance. Okay. And O for oxidation. Oxidation of the bacterial protein. That's it. Okay. Denaturation, electrolyte imbalance, and the oxidation. Oxidation of the materials. Dry heat. Dry heat. We have dry heat and moisture. Dry heat, flaming. Well, flaming is not much asked question, but where you flame? You flame the tubes. Suppose this is a tube I'm using in my lab. Okay. So what I do every time to prevent the contamination? This end of this tube is usually sterilized. Okay. The test tubes, the test tubes. It's usually end of the tube. I use the flame. I use the flame to sterilize the upper part. That's a flaming. Reddit. Reddit is something commonly used in the lab. Reddit is like, you know, you have a lamp like this. And then uh, for culture, we use, we have loops. We have the wire loops. We call it as wire loops and sprite wires. Sprite wires. In uh, Usually in the microbiology lab we have, in the lab we use. So this one, usually what do you pass the tube. This is, this is the loop. You pass the uh, loop around the Reddit. So until ready to leave it so that it gets sterilized and you can use it for other samples. So whenever you're changing the sample before putting it, you have to use a ready. Okay. Incineration, you know. Incineration means it's burning. It's the, you're burning all the material in a very high temperature. Can I get an example? That's an important question. Which bags in BMW, which bag we are doing incineration? Can you tell me which bag is that? Red bag, yellow or uh, the blue? It is the yellow bag. Very good. You have to know. Hello, hello, hello. Hello goes for incineration. No other way. This is a common until lifelong in your hospital or wherever you work. You should know that your yellow bag goes for incineration. Deep. Uh, uh, you just burn it, you know, deep. That's it. Okay. Now, next. Now, this is a question. Very common question. How do you sterilize your glassware? Number one question. Glassware means syringe, petri dish or glass. How do you sterilize the surgical instrument like forceps? How do you sterilize the most important chemicals for chemicals like liquid, paraffin? How do you sterilize? And gloves powder, dust powder, gloves, dust powder, the gloves can the dust or the powder or then that powder and liquid paraffin. How do you sterilize? Which one? Can we use autoclave for that? You can't because autoclave may it's moist. It. So pani under gush jata liquid paraffin or dust glove powder can the pani ho jata to entire process get karab. It will not work. It will get spoiled. So, what type of heat you use? A dry heat. Which dry heat you're going to use? Hot air oven. Hot air oven. This is a question frequently asked. Very, very, very important. Okay. At least for these two, you should know. I mean, glassware is gla glassware and surgical instrument. You can use autoclave also, hot air oven. So, no problem. But for liquid paraffin and for your dust powder, you can't use autoclave. You have to use only hot air oven. That's important. Okay. Then for swabs, right. Now, what's the temperature? That's the question. You know, when it comes for sterilization, temperature is the question. You should know temperature and the time. For what is the temperature? 160 degrees Celsius, 160 degrees Celsius. Okay, 160 degrees Celsius for how long? Two hours. That's it. 160 degrees for two hours. That's the time. Question. Frequently asked. What is the control? Because this is the heart. Heart kya hota hai? Heart usually kya hota hai? Heart, heart sabji hota hai. Heart sabji hota hai. So that means heart sub bacillus. Subtilis. Bacillus subtilis is the indicator. So, question. Bacillus subtilis. Subji, hot subji. Remember, hot air oven, hot air oven, subji, hot subji. Bacillus subtilis. It's not easy. So, what do you think too much? Bacillus stereothermophilic. So, autoclave ka ho jayega. Okay. That is stereothermo. It's naam mein hai autoclave. Easy ko to hot subji. Hot subji subtilis. So you don't have to think too much. Take exam. I say click or hotter over indicate. Are, yeah, it's hot. Yeah, hot to subji. What I have subject to mark or subtly smart or bus. Oh, yeah, finish right. Good. Now, the chemical chemical. What is the tube name? That's called brownie tube. Brownie tube. Brownie tube. Okay, what I usually the uh, before uh, before uh, yeah, sterilization, it will be red in color. You put with the uh, sterilization ka under hotter own candle, dollar, then leave it after hotter oven is over. To say it is effective or not, the color should change into green. It will be green like this. Then that is right. Then that is the brown to be the your uh, hotter oven is effective. Okay, that's it. Very easy. Okay. Now what about moist it? Moist it is also very very important. You know that already. 
So what are the moist sheet we are going to talk here? Yes. A moist sheet basically cause denaturation and coagulation. Coagulation, moist coagulation. Coagulation is not dry heat. Mein hai. That is the question they'll ask, which is the exception. Hot ka to do use karna hai. Hot ka do use karna hai. Dry heat ka do. But moist heat mein you cause coagulation also. Coagulation. Okay. Now less than 100 degree. Less than 100 degree. What are the things you remember? One important thing is your pasteurization question. In moist state, when the temperature differs, less than 100 degrees is used for pasteurization. And other one is, which is the other method? Other one is inspiration. Inspiration. Less than 100 degrees. Talk detail. 100 degree always confuses, you always confuse inspiration and tendalization. How to remember? 100 means exactly 100. So 10 into 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, kya ho gaya? Tindalization ho gaya. 10, 10, tindalization. 10, 10, tindalization. Easy. 100 into 10 into 10 is 100. 100 is 10, 10, tindalization. Okay. Tindalization. That's a question. Right. And more than 100, of course, your favorite auto clip. Favorite auto clip. Got it? Yes. Now, next, pasteurization, we have holder method and the flash method. When you talk about a holder method, which is the holder method, temperature is how much, how much temperature we are going to use? In holder method, it's usually 63 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. 3, 3, 3, 3. Okay, easy. Question, question. Eh? Which is the battery that survives? Which is the battery that can survive the uh, pasteurization? Frequent as question. And the same this the same battery causes Q fever. I already told you Q fever. Who is Q? Who is Q? Who is Queen? Who is Q? It's your Oxyella burnetti. I tell you, all the burnettis are... All the Burnettis are like the queens. You know, all the Burnettis are queen, right? Queens. So Burnettis, Burnettis are that hair, you know, brown color hair, foreigners, you know, that only. Okay, that's the thing. Burnetti. Servers hold the better. A flash method. When we talk about a flash method, it is usually how much? How much? 72 degrees Celsius for 20 seconds. 20 seconds. That's it. 2, 2. 72 degree for 20 seconds. 72, 72 degrees Celsius, 20 seconds. Remember like that. It's easy. And rapid growth for 13 degrees. That's for flash method. Okay, important. You have to know. And inspiration. Inspiration, again, we told what is uh, how many degrees of inspiration is usually less than 100. Already told. 10, 10 is 100. That is for your tindalization. But this is the this is inspiration. So inspiration may, how much you're going to use? Less than 80 to 85 degrees Celsius for how many minutes? You, uh, you will leave it for 30 minutes okay 30 minutes on 30 minutes on how many because three consecutive days you understand exact words are important 80 to 85 degree 30 minutes three consecutive days why see the first day you kill whatever the bed is there and then remaining spores you will do that that will germinate and second civilization whatever the, the spores which are germinated uh, into the battery, they will be killed. And in third time, when you're doing everything, whatever is remaining, whatever, everything is completely, that's what you're doing, three consecutive. Same method applied for inspiration. So I'll tell you in a while. So use for sterilization of what media? All the egg and serum containing media. Egg and serum containing media. You already know what I'm going to ask. Next question would be, which are those egg and serum containing media? It is your egg means it is your LJ and serum means it's your LSS media. Bus. It's called cases sterilize karna inspiration. You can use sterilization also, but inspiration is the best answer. Okay. Sterilize so by egg and serum media. Egg is what? Your uh, Lewinstein Jensen TB killer or LSS media, local serum stroke for your corner bedroom diphtheria. This media is so sterilized by your inspiration. Okay, don't forget. Very, very important. Okay, frequently asked. Tindalization. Tindalization already to do 10 into 10. 10 into 10 is 100. So exactly for tindalization, how you're going to answer is. 100 degrees Celsius for how many minutes? 20 minutes is enough on three consecutive days. Three consecutive days. Oh, yeah. Tendalization, very simple. Three minutes. This is also three consecutive days. Why is three consecutive days? I'm stressing because same procedure. First day, man, battery kills and sports will determine. Sports will become bacteria. Second day, no, kill, okay. third day, man, completely kill. Everything is killed. Used for which type of heat sensitive material like sugar? Like sugar or gelatin containing heat sensitive material. So for heat sensitive material, which is the best one? Tindalization. Of course, inspiration is also right. If that is also not a problem. Inspiration, tindalization, all are same. Only the temperature and the time is different. Okay, all for three consecutive days. Okay, that's it. So this is for the tindalization. Now, what is this picture here? Maybe they can ask. So this is a this is a autoclave. If you say autoclave, you're right. So this is a vertical autoclave. This is a vertical autoclave. And of course, we have a which one? Horizontal like this also, the like a stand and with, you know, big door here to use, you know, in the big, big hospitals, we use this one. That is a vertical and this is horizontal, horizontal autoclaves we have. Okay, right. Now, what is the autoclave? Autoclave is very important. In autoclave, what you have to know is that 
well, the main thing you have to know in autoclave is that what's the temperature? Everyone knows, no excuse in this. Even if you don't know, please remember expected, highly expected question. Always has got 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes for 15 psi pressure, 15 psi. This is the most common used temperature. It can be altered for 120 degrees Celsius. So time to come karo. Pressure to bada karo. And 132 also it'd be only for three minutes, 30 psi. Okay. But remember, this 132 degrees Celsius. But for longer, for 20 minutes, is used for which one? Prions. To kill the prions. If you are suspecting prions, then you can use for that. Okay. So, used for material that cannot withstand the hotter one. So, most of the materials cannot withstand the hotter one. You can use. So, but in hotter one, one classic, classic example which is used is what? Plastic and rubber. Okay. All the culture medias, the most commonly culture medias you use, which one? Your autoclave only. Why? Because it's not get dried out. Hotter one may papad ho jata. If you put all the proper culture media, wo papad ho jata. So, to prevent that one, you better use a culture the best is your autoclave only. And non-surgical, non-sharp surgical instruments also. And plastic and rubber. Because plastic and rubber, hotter one may, it melts. So, here it's not. So, plastic and rubber in the autoclave. You understand, right? So, either in, uh, in hotter oven, in hotter oven, what are the things you remember? Is your liquid paraffin, liquid paraffin, and the other one is there is your gloves powder, gloves dust powder, gloves dust powder. Yamper special kya kya hai? Plastic and rubber for your autoclave. This is important. Okay, this is this is hot air. Okay, now control is basically stereothermophilicus. You know that it's geobasilis thermophilicus or basically stereothermophilus. Thermo name hai. and thermophilus you already it's the thermophiles, temperature more than. We divide no more than uh, when, when you talk about high temperature, more than 40 degree, is scarophiles, mesophiles, and thermophiles. This is a thermophile car. So frequently asked question. The spore shock, geophilus, thermophilus is used. Okay. Now, radiation. Radiation, we have non-ionizing and ionizing radiation. So when we talk about non-ionizing radiation, what is the non-ionizing radiation here? It is usually your, we already talked, it's your UV and X-ray. UV and sorry, infrared rays. And for ionizing, it is X-ray or gamma rays, X-ray gamma rays. So UV infrared rays, they have low penetrating power, but your ionizing rays is ionizing. So definitely it does have what high penetrating power, right? Important, important. Because of low penetrating, which doesn't have spores, spores action. Spores are not effectively killed, but high penetrating because spores are so the spores are also killed in the ionizing radiation. And so your radiation is usually used in the biosafety cabinet, it's used in the biosafety cabinets where we do all culture processing sorry things is more by septic cabinets mean. okay but for um ionizing radiation important question here your cat bed sutures gloves gloves and swabs can do autoclave uh, uh also i mean swabs that can be used in hot air we already spoke about it but especially when it is special for cat bed suture is your ionizing radiation it's the best ionizing radiation is the best okay now uh, what is the method of ionizing radiation? Cause the DNA is uh, damaged. Cause the DNA is sterilized. DNA is damaged with low temperature. That's what it is called cold sterilization. So ionizing ka dusra norm hai cold sterilization. Okay, remember important. Okay. Now another important disinfectant. We talk about disinfectant. See, this is a very important disinfectant. If you talk about disinfectant, we have different categories: high level, medium, and low level. Okay, high level kills everything. Enveloped virus, bacteria, fungi, non -envelope. I told you non is always dangerous because envelope if there's no envelope, a disinfectant like alcohol or whatever, you know, they can't act. So they are more powerful than envelope. Envelope may envelope there. So the, the, your disinfectant can target on the envelope and kills it easily. But non envelope envelope may so it can't act on that. Okay, I've I spoke about this in virology very nicely, clearly. So please take in a virology topic. And then mycobacterium also, and then uh, spores everything. When you talk about the low, medium level, when you talk about the medium level, this even high level means it is your plasma sterilization, ETO, and RDH. Okay. When you intermediate it means simply halogens, phenolic compound like lysol, crystal. In this thing, everything is killed except the spores. Spores are not killed. Okay, spores are not killed. Rest all, TB, GB, everything is killed. What about low? In low level, you have a problem. In low level, like alcohol, surface active agents, and what happened when you talk about special alcohol, we are talking about virus. This non-enveloped virus and your TB and spores, they are not killed. They are not killed. Okay, they are not killed. Remember, rest all are killed. Okay, this is the level of disinfectant. And spalding classification is important in surgical point of view because what happened in spalding, the medical devices are classified into three categories, critical, semi-critical, and non-critical. When you talk about the critical, critical means when the devices are entering your sterile areas, like joint, 
like your joint, blood vessels, etc. Those things are sterile. So when you enter joint or when you're entering the proper blood vessel veins, or then that is it. See here, even your bladder, joint, bladder, they are the sterile areas where you can't, uh, you know, there's no bacteria. So those areas are very risk risky. So surgical implants, instruments, and catheters comes in this category. For this, you have to use high-level disinfectant. Your PTO, uh, ETO, the plasma sterilization, ETO, those things should be used for uh, RDA should be used for high level disinfectant for critical. Semi critical means this, this just touches the mucous membrane. Example your endoscopes, endoscopes, thermometer, etc. We just uh, uh, mucous membrane or broken skin broken. For this, what you do, you just sterilize by either you can use high, uh, you, they are always high. Here for these things, you use high or medium level. Medium level is fine. No need to stress. Medium is fine. Okay, high or medium. What about non-critical? Non-critical means device that touches your skin. Example, like your stethoscope. Your stethoscope or ECG electrodes and these things, you know, these electrodes which you're using and all. For those, you don't need to be normal, low level, up normal, alcohol, swab, say, uska, aise clean, karega, to bas, cheek hai. You understand? So those things, your any basic uh, antiseptic you can clean. So low level disinfectant. So all our questions, okay? It's all our questions. Everything is a question. Okay. Now, next is, Chemical sterilization, we go. Alcohol, very easy. Please, it's a direct question. Alcohol denatures the protein. This is what we're talking about chemical method. Ethyl alcohol is used for hand rub. So, you know already ethyl alcohol is used for the hand rub. That's the question, hand rub. What about isopropyl alcohol? Isopropyl also can be used as a hand rub, but the important thing is for thermometers. All your thermometers. Thermometers ka disinfect karne ke liye, you can use alcohol. And isopropyl alcohol is commonly used. You know that. They damage the nucleic uh, aldehyde. Next is aldehyde. Which they damage the nucleic acid and the protein by alkalization. That you know, protein, alkalization. So now, uh, when you talk about formaldehyde, you know, what is the answer? For OT, OT ke kya karogi? Fumigation. Have for a fumigation. Okay, formaldehyde for fumigation and preserving the anatomical specimen. Anatomical, anatomical or pathological specimens, if you go to your uh, labs, you can see that is preserved in some formaldehyde liquid. For, that is the formalin solution. Formalin is basically formaldehyde, another form. Now, glutaraldehyde is 2 percentage glutaraldehyde. What is the name? You must be knowing. No excuse for that. That is SIDEX solution. Repeated many, many, many. I think 1,000 times it's repeated, you know. <laughs> okay, SIDEX solution. That is 2 percentage. This is for sterilization of what? Your endoscopes. Endoscopes. Then and there, in uh, after doing endoscopy, you'll put it inside. It could be cytoscope, endoscope, any scopes, or any scope. In fact, any scopes. Okay, any scopes. Said a question. Activation, you need to, uh, you need activation before use. And once activated, it's used for two weeks. But we have a new latest one. Autophthalmate is much better than any of this, especially better than glutaral hair because you don't need activation. So in the, in the question, if they say which is the best for endoscope ke liye, you can directly use ophthalmia. Tell not you don't have that type of question, but please remember both glutaria and ophthalmia are right answers. Okay. Yes. Uh, even it's active against TB also ophthalmia. Phenolic compound may you have a lot of things. Phenolic compound usually cause the precipitation of the protein. They usually cause, cause the P for P precipitation of proteins. So disinfectants are disinfectant and antisepsis, two differences. Disinfectant is corrosive and antisepsis is non-corrosive. Disinfectant is corrosive because I have experienced when I used to the uh, uh, you know, one percent hypochlorite and all. So disinfectant it's very you know very bad, bad for uh, especially it's cresol, lenilol, lysol. When you use on surface, if it's iron surface, it easily gets corroded. But of course, you remember they are a disinfectant, good disinfectant. Cresol, xylon, lysol. Antisepsis are non-corrosive. And you know, the, the popular one is your savlon on data. Savlon has a combination of chlorhexidine and cetrimide. That's what I told you. If you remember, CC, cetrimide is for growth of what? Cetrimide is culture made for pseudomonas aeruginosa also. Pseudomonas is a special media. You remember what I said. So pseudomonas grows there. But ideally, it is a disinfectant. Cetrimide and chlorhexidine in Savlon and that all chlorhexidine. Right okay. Now, next. Halogens. In halogens, oxidation of proteins happens in, with the halogens. You have oxidation of proteins. So, water halogens, chlorine water. Chlorine for uh, water, municipal water supply and swimming. What do you use? You use the Chlorine compound. That's your chlorine. This question. So, uh, water supply and swimming pool uh, use chlorine. One percent sodium hypochlorite is used as a disinfectant in hospital. Which important? Which one? What type of things in a hospital when you have what spill? Any, any spill? Any, uh, you know, uh, spills. Simply hospital spills. You can spills means it could be a blood. It could be vomit. 
or it could be dia stool, whatever it is, any uh, dangerous spills, any danger anatomic, I mean, uh, human human spills, okay? For that, to clean that, you use 1% hypochlorite. Please remember. And 1% hypochlorite kills even HIV also. When the blood HIV spills down, if you put a 1% hypochlorite, it's sufficient. It kills it. Okay, that much efficient. So, you have to remember that. Okay, now iodine compounds. Uh, skin antiseptic, you know, tincture iodine is basically iodine with alcohol and betaurine is one thing, uh, is iodine with a carrier called povodine or polyvitin. Now, almost last we came, gaseous sterilization where we are using ethylene oxide. Here the important question is, ethylene oxide is used where ethylene oxide, you have to remember no other way it is used for the heart-lung machine. Both both put chuka hai. Okay, heart-lung machine and respirators. For both heart lung machine respirators and even dental equipments also we are using ethylene oxide etu ethylene oxide gaseous sterilization okay and control control uh, how you remember et et ethylene oxide ye kya ka karti hai et she cooks she cooks what she cooks gobi sabji she cooks gobi sabji why gobi sabji? The control for ethylene oxide is bacillus globigi, globigi, and then other one is your bacillus sabji subtilis, and then atrophies. All three are right. That's a question can be asked. And don't forget, we have a globi, some other globi we are going to study in some bacteria in acid first. Which one? Which acid first one that gives a globi like appearance? Lepre, mycobacterium lepre, leprosy. Okay, don't forget. Don't talk about that their globi, but one gobi is here also. Don't forget. Okay. Now, plasma sterilization is something, it's a, it's a fourth state. Up, apart from solid liquid uh, gas, it's one state called plasma state in which here in the plasma state, maintain a uniform vacuum. You use the vaporized H2O to hydrogen peroxide in the presence of electromagnetic radiation. Then a lot of free radicals are formed. It's very efficient, very, very efficient. It free radical is formed. So at the 30 to 50 degrees for one hour. So everything gets killed there. So control you're using stereothermophilicus for autoclave also for plasma also. Autoclave also stereothermophilicus and plasma also you're using the stereothermophilus. Okay. And then, uh, 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 and then yeah, other one is your uh, heat sensitive material. The material which is in plasma sterilization is usually heat sensitive materials. Uh, usually okay that's all this is all about the uh, and a few things which you have to remember is in sterilization all the temperatures are very very important and the biological controls are important and what are substances we have to use okay then for rapid revision also i'll talk about this later but right now uh this is the thing for sterilization thank you so much guys uh meet you soon in another class okay have a good day